Hello, viewers. Welcome back to Renowned Explorers. All right, I did some, I did some thinking. I did some research. Uh, I think we're gonna go for the Raptor Queen thing. Here's the deal. I think we actually have a really good chance of getting the Living Crystal, and the Living Crystal's renowned payout is tremendous. The Living Crystal checks are based on whether you're a scientist, whether you're a naturalist, and how high your speech defense is. Kiwi has more than twice as much speech defense as Emilia did when uh, Emilia was the one who got the crystal. And while she won't get the points for being a scientist, she more than makes up for it on speech defense. And actually, she could be a rank 6 naturalist, provided Anna's crew story event triggers again and we let her take mathematics from Anna. So we actually are going to have the best chance of getting the living crystal that we've ever had. And while the Raptor Queen fight is difficult, Raptor Queen is weak to Sadden, or weak to... Well, she is weak to Sadden, that's not right. She's also weak to Impress. We have a real strong Impress, and we're going to get this. We have a double strong Impress. Uh, in addition, the Raptor Queen is resistant to a couple of things, but she is not resistant to Terrify. We'll have access to the full strength of Anna's Terrify on top of it. Kiwi sadly will not be participating in the battle at full strength since so she is resistant to enrage but she's not resistant to being excited we can try some of that i think we can actually do this and i think it is the uh the path that is going to lead to by far the most renowned I feel a little nervous about it but i mean you saw how much renown the living crystal was worth last time we have to go for it i'm going for it that's what's happening but first we have to fight every enemy Every enemy. The whole world. We're all here. Okay. We gotta get Hildegard leveled up, though. This is, like, really important. Alright, so Anna can move to here and stun these guys. Also, it is gonna be really helpful for us to have the stun available. Can you kill this guy? If I move Kiwi over here, remember to distribute the, uh, there we go. So yeah, actually, if if she was max level and was getting impress and a half every time she did impress, yes, we would have one shot that guy. All right. Unfortunately, these guys have more armor than speech defense, and if anything, we're less qualified <laughs> to take them down through violence. But we got to figure out a way to get advantage take advantage of all this, all this aggression. So... Ta -da! Actually, if we intentionally push over into friendly every once in a while, that would be really helpful. Let's move you around here. <laughs> this way Kiwi can do a flank and shank if I want to. Not 100% sure what I do. Yeah, let's do let's do flank and shank, and then have Kiwi's attack be the thing. Yeah. Let's see, they still haven't fixed this bug. This bug's been around for a really long time, where sometimes people just face the wrong direction while attacking. Oh no, look out! Oh, I am so unnerved. Oh, I'm just enough unnerved for you not to not to die in a single attack. Hildegard, get him! You sorcery! <laughs> this is a very dramatic animation. You can almost hear him shout, Oh, I am slain! Alright. So, we have to be... smart about our pathing here. We definitely... yes, okay. We definitely want to find this guy, is what I was about to say. Make sure we bring back information about the dinosaurs, because that guy is going to give us a ton of discovery tokens. Discovery tokens are great, great value. That's right now. Unfortunately, we are not well equipped to get all of the supply, or all of the treasures. There are several treasures that we're just not going to be uh, able to get feasibly. The Medal of Secrecy that requires you to pass a diplomacy check with a bunch of guys, that's not happening. 
uh, the treasure that you get from being friendly at the dog training place, not happening. But I really do want to try to get Hildegard leveled up as quickly as possible. It's going to take uh, three more combats, I believe. I read her uh, XP gauge right. Alright, stun the dogs. Show this guy how great we are. Yeah, we gotta we gotta get her leveled. Oh, Kiwi. You couldn't you couldn't roll just a little bit higher? The dude has two spirit left. It's important to remember as well for um Anna, that we picked up the thing that makes her experimentation do more damage if at least one of the targets is terrified. That's going to come into play a lot. Because unfortunately, we are not able to really equip her as well as I would like. The dogs are weak to enrage. How weak? Okay, pretty weak. Obviously, the dogs coming in fresh are a little bit more of a concern than the dogs that are terrified. Ah, uh, we gotta start building up those aggression points, but it would be really great if we're missing stuff all the time for no reason. Uh, I think it still makes sense to focus on this guy. So we're gonna take a couple hits in the back line here, and then Kiwi's also gonna get bitten from the front. Shouldn't be too bad, and we still have cheer off cooldown. Oh, actually, dog made it all the way to Anna. That's okay. Our defenses are actually good now. We can we can like endure hits. We're no longer in a place where if three people attack the same person, that person will definitely die. So I think this is a good time for a cheer, followed by a fully charged. Oh no, there's still actually one turn left on. But a pretty fully charged experimentation, which actually, lucky lucky, uh, lucky roll there, does bring one of them down. We could have loudmouthed and definitely gotten both of the dogs, but I'm a little nervous about how many points of deviousness we have. I want to make sure that we're ending this battle the way we should be ending it. Even though maybe that's not even, uh, not even really a concern. Oh, they really hate Anna. What did she do? Can somebody tell them about the taser? She's the most dangerous woman on earth because she's got a taser. And it's like 1860. Uh, yeah, let's... Let's nuke this guy's armor. I sort of hedge my bets with Kiwi by buying the gloves that trigger on Terrify. So this way she has a nice attack bonus if they're enraged due to their dropped armor, and a nice attack bonus if they're terrified. I don't know, it might have been better to just trust that they'll be enraged and go for the double bonus, but... Really, I'm hoping that we don't have too many, uh, too many... Yeah, okay. Oh, I can't teach... Can't teach Kiwi mathematics. Didn't I have the option last time? Oh, whatever. It's fine. It's fine. That token is uh, valuable. So, all right. I would have liked to get to max level before this fight, so that we have the. I guess it's not actually a particularly difficult fight. Oh wow! That was that was lucky? What were the odds of that? Also, it's worth remembering that we get a lot of free uh, renown just from showing up to a nature thing, a nature challenge. Okay, at this point, we take the 300 renown. Yeah, this isn't anywhere near 300. Right. So if I was planning better or, you know, good at this, 
I'm sure that that could have been 500 pounds at least. There's definitely a way to do way better than I have done. I'm trying to figure out what path I want to take. Oh, actually, there's only access to this thing from the other side. That's weird. I guess we'll go this way. Wow, we're really bad at making this climb. Well, I definitely want to save my tools. Oh, he was sprinting off in the wilderness. No, she's not sprinting anywhere. Anna yells at her. Oh, that's interesting. Chemistry and level 5 naturalist both get us there. Rediscovery token. Alright, I think it makes sense to just go here and get this over with. Like I said, the, the encounter isn't actually that difficult. We don't need Hildegard to have a thing. We just need to make sure we have it before the Raptor Queen. I think. <laughs> I think we'll be alright. Alright, so... We can start out this way because if we go friendly, it only takes one attack for us to turn that back around. That's right. The big... The big baby. The big dramatic baby. There's no way this line reaches all the way to that dog, yeah. Um... The damage in... Uh, the difference in damage isn't really that big between the two of these, but I guess I want to leave room for Kiwi to be able to do devious stuff without necessarily switching us over into devious mode. Man, these dogs are fast. The only way to really keep the dogs uh, attacking the person you want them to attack is to form an actual actual blockade across a, a narrow area, I guess. Ah, these guys get to take a turn off. Oh, I should've... Yep, should've done that first. That's what a good player would've done. <laughs> Foaming with rage. Trying to stand in such a way that it's difficult for the uh, sharpshooter to hit two of us with her attack. Alright, I think we'll be okay. Yeah. We'll be okay as long as we just finish these guys off. Aggressive. Man, now that I said that thing about the lemmings noise, I can't stop hearing it. It really sounds like that. Maybe I should have thrown an Enrage out there first. But yeah, this, this encounter is not too bad at all. Good on this? Yeah, we're, we're good. Who do you think you are? Hildegard, get revenge! Sweet, sweet vengeance. Sure, you have a gun, but Hildegard's a literal wizard. Is all like... Oh, I was gonna do a Harry Potter thing there, but I can't remember the names of any of the Harry Potter... Else. That's fine. Uh, it would be cool to hit this. These... What, are the, what is the difference in these payouts? This one has extra collect tokens on it, but they have the same number of studies. Alright, I'm just gonna go for it. 61%. We we gotta save the tools. Alright. Good, that worked out. Hey look, free oscillator. 40 renown for each level of engineer is definitely the winner. Are we on six levels of engineer? Yeah. Oh no. It's all kinds of crazy stuff happening. Who could have foreseen this? Alright, so we have to have at least three dinosaur encounters, and then go back to off the Gale Horner. With any luck... Yeah... 
With any luck, the encounter that we're going for in the island will have spawned near him. Indeed. That is quite near him. Alright, good. I don't know why they're so concerned about keeping that hidden from the world, but they don't seem to care all that much about the other dinosaurs. Alright, Kiwi obviously go get it. Hey look, it's that dinosaur. Uh I don't think she's gonna have a better chance on the other test, because the other test is like quick thinker athlete. And there we go. Good good. A little bit of prep. Five study tokens is not as much as we'll get for passing this check. Oh, wow. Yeah, quick thinker and athlete, man. Well, I don't want to lose 20 armor. Yeah, let's just try to make sure we get the treasure. I definitely don't want to lose 20 armor. You gotta remember, each treasure is worth uh, one discovery token and one treasure hunt token at, at this point, and that's a lot of payout. A lot of renown. Oh, this note doesn't connect to that one. It would, it would have been really cool to come around like this. Because um, I want to do the battle. Hildegard, I guess Hildegard only needs to find one battle. It doesn't necessarily need to be that one. Yeah, but I still want to do the battle for the Renown. Alright, friendly raptors. So actually, uh, it is worth noting, the raptor queen can spawn with either friendly raptors or devious raptors, and I don't know if you can affect that. I, I don't know if the game just chooses at random or what the deal is. Alright, so these guys are weak against the old-fashioned impress. The most sensible thing. Oh no, wait, that's actually not close enough. There we go. Wow, that is not that much damage. Ta -da! These guys take so little damage from everything. They do not need to have 120 health. <laughs> Stun the other one. Yeah. We don't we don't have to deal with these guys for a couple of turns. They're not, not fast enough to get over here yet. Eh, just hit him. Aw, oh, well now I wish I'd used experimentation. That's alright, I can do it this turn. Yeah, and they hit really hard. Kiwi has a ton of armor. Doesn't she still, like, well, maybe not a ton. 40. She has 40 armor, and it's still pretty good. <laughs> Should be able to bring this guy down. An impress plus a punch in the head ought to be sufficient. <clears throat> Although, I absolutely should have moved Kiwi adjacent to him before doing the impress. I have got to stop forgetting that. Alright, uh, unfortunately, all of Anna's stuff has, like, infinite cooldown. So much cooldown. Ta -da! She's gonna be pretty much relegated to just punching this thing. Alright, so let's toss it in rage, and then have Anna run down here and punch it. I think that should do enough damage. Yeah. It does take all three of us attacking a raptor to bring it down, which does not bode that well for the raptor queen fight. I suppose I can still audible back into into going after the anti-explorer leader. Alright, I think that we are assured to get this kill. I do not think that we have to worry about cheer. we can just do the thing I just did. Yeah, alright. 
I was getting a little nervous there. As soon as I cast the Impress, I was like, oh no, what if we don't get it? Alright. We're doing alright on... Doing alright on tokens from battles, and finally, those Puppy Eyes. I don't know why Puppy Eyes is impressive. Who finds nothing of interest here? Alright, uh, Kiwi. 90%. I believe. Alright, another... Another sweet treasure. Right, we have to have a couple more dinosaur encounters yet. And 69%. That's a lot of value. Minus 25 armor, though. I'm gonna trust. I'm gonna trust in the wheel. We will be kind to us if we are kind to it. Right? That's a that's a real thing? Yeah. See, look, it worked, so it must have been a good strategy, right? That's how... That's how... Thought works. That's how logic works. Alright, mean-looking raptors. I don't know if this actually counts as a second thing for Othmiel. It, it may be that all the raptor encounters are counted as the... Or lead to the same blue text option. So there's more of these guys. But they're weak to... They're weak to terrify. <laughs> Unfortunately, the devious raptors have a two-space range on their attacks. Blah, blah. That's not the one I want attack. Thought I clicked on that guy. All right, I think this should be enough. But I definitely, I definitely tried to launch Kiwi's attack on the one that was adjacent to her. Yeah, right. Hildegard's great now. Yeah, the Devious Raptors are by far the more dangerous. Also, they enrage. And, as we all know, the raptors can switch to physical attacks if they want to. Yeah, I guess... Run all the way to the back. Ta -da! Ta -da! Actually, this is a little awkward. I kind of don't want to be friendly. I don't know what they're going to do here. I can move Kiwi, have Anna come over here and finish this off with the Terrify. And I can't get in range to do anything to any of the others, so I guess that's the thing that makes sense. Just pick one of these guys and let him have it. <laughs> Alright, that's doing 56 damage on an impressed one. I think that we can get this pretty safely. Oh no, they switched to friendly. Okay, that's not great. Oh, but they do encourage when they're in friendly mode. That's actually pretty helpful. Alright, Kiwi's gonna have to probably withdraw. Back to the team, or you know what? She could toss a loud mouth off before she does that. Really set these guys up. Yeah, and she's not in any danger. But we're in a little bit of danger now because we're stuck in this mode. Shoot, I, didn't, I wasn't really thinking about it, but we can't get out of Devious Attitude this turn now. Well, alright, let's light this guy up. Ta -da! Ta -da! And then he's weak to terrify. Yeah, and then we can finish all three of them off with aggressive attacks, and I think... Yeah, okay, actually we have ten points. 
Yes, I may have over devious a little. That's a possibility. <laughs> Uh -huh. Alright, come on, Kiwi, don't get down. Alright, she's good. So Anna finishes this one off. Uh, Hildegard can run over and cheer. It is worth noting that Kiwi does have, like, 80 crit now, which I think is... She, she's on 42% dodge chance, yeah. That is pretty okay. I mean, I guess we cheer. It doesn't really do anything. Right, I, I do not know, honestly, whether we're going to be able to get to enough aggressive points. I spent a lot of time deep this here. What are we at? We're at 4 and 9? Yeah. This looks pretty bad, actually. We're definitely going to want to lead with an attack from Hildegard. Generates points without being that uh, deadly. Yeah, there's no way for us to generate any more aggressive points without killing him, so we'll just have to hope that it's enough. I don't think it is. And we're going to end up devious, which is a shame because it means missing out on 25 renown and a supply. The secret token is nice, but it does not at all make up for the, uh, yeah. Very unfortunate. Should have, uh, should have been thinking ahead a little better. Okay. Oh, it's Owen Milan, the Raptor Whisperer. We need to encounter some more dinosaurs that aren't raptors. I think Othniel only cares about different types of dinosaurs, so any raptor encounter is going to count the same as the others. I think that's the case. This guy is strong against all of the devious stuff that we do. That's great. He is not a boss character, though, so he's stun he gets stunned at least. And then he is... Also strong against Impress. Just, you know, just everything that we're good at. And he has 30 armor. Well, obviously we still hit him with the... Still hit him with the Enrage. And then we have at him. Kiwi is the fastest of us. So she can be, uh... She can be the furthest back. That's annoying. All reducing my attack power. I got bad news for you, sir. This dagger was just in the dirt. Take that. Look at your... Enjoy that slightly increased chance of an infection. Is that the point of doing that? I don't have any idea. Alright, her attack is slightly more likely to work. Or, um... So I'm gonna do slightly more damage than her impress. Come over here and stand on the regen space, partially for the HP and partially so that Owen doesn't. So our speech defense is all torn up. We'll be okay. Should I be cheering one of them so that they can get their power back. I don't want to waste the cheer, but yeah, let's let's cheer her. So her attack power is no longer penalized, and yeah, that's an okay amount of damage, I guess. This guy just has a lot of health. It's, it's not like we're doing small amounts of damage. 50 is a fine amount. It's just that this guy has a ton of health. Alright, hopefully... Hopefully he attacks Anna. We are totally just ignoring the raptors here. Let us finish this. Alright, so that encounter was... making me That encounter is making me a little bit nervous about the raptor queen, because we really took a lot more rounds to do that than I usually take. But, I guess to be fair, that guy is strong against different things 
than the queen is. We still really need to find another kind of dinosaur somewhere here. There we go, that's another one. Kiwi, walk with the dinosaurs. Yep, if you have, uh, I think it's five levels of survivalist, you can do an additional thing there. You can Fred Flintstone down that one's back. We have six supplies left. So I could go to here, and then here, and then here. I don't know. I don't know exactly what I want to do. I want to make sure that I have enough encounters before I go to off mail. Okay, let's get supplies. Go to this node. That's not what I was hoping for. Okay, well, it's three supplies either way, because the game loves... Okay, yeah, we got three. Huge sauropod. Hunter theropod. Awesome raptors. And then he gives us the treasure. So we got all those discovery tokens and then a treasure. Uh, we Is this zero? Are we on zero, quick thinkers? Yes, we are. Alright, yeah, I guess collect tokens is the best thing because they have some research on them, but that was actually really crappy. We got, we got very little out of that. Alright, so... Can definitely do this node. Minus 10 speech defense would not be the end of the world. Our speech defense is, on average, higher than our armor. Okay. Some unknown beast. Le Kiwi leads the crew to the origin of the sounds through clever navigation, and there the crew finds a herd of weird-looking dinosaurs grazing in the meadow. Cool. If we go here, we'll go down to two, then back up to three if we're winning. Then down to two, down to one, and yeah, okay. We can afford to hit this node. Oh, it's the dogs in... it's the, the dog training facility. Alright, well, I'm pretty sure we can't get the treasure. Right, because I think you have to you have to finish it uh, during the first part of the island, friendly, and then come back and also finish it friendly during the second. Can I get both of them? Not quite a line that works there. Unfortunately, she can't really... yeah, there's no way to get a line. Well, the dog can be one-shot trivially, but let's start by doing this. Because if we start with the with the devious attack, obviously it's going to give us a pretty disadvantageous action. Oh no! Why didn't it target that one? I just tapped the button twice without. Uh, double checking the target, which is bad practice. <laughs> All right, well. we'll do that to ensure that we don't get double attacked and also start setting those aggressive points early. So I did not see how much renown we're at as I, as we entered here. We're at 68.18, which I would consider to be a very good score right there under the, uh, under the best of circumstances normally. That'll show those nerds. Okay. Yeah, our party's actually... Our party's not that bad. We're not that... We can take the Raptor Queen. I just, I've had so many bad experiences fighting the Raptor Queen. I will say this. I really hope that we get the friendly Raptors and not the devious Raptors. Because... We can bottleneck the friendly Raptors. If we can be attacked from all sides... Uh, as much as the devious raptors can, I think we might be in a little trouble. Against the friendly raptors, you can just use the terrain to your advantage. That's right. Yeah, we're we're good. We're good. We are way, way up on aggressive. You have to mouse over for the points because it doesn't always correctly display. The bars do not always accurately represent the portion of your points. Okay, so we have three. One, two, three. I definitely do not want to have a hunger penalty on me, so we're going to skip that note even though... Oh, wow. Uh, inspect the raptor. 
He's got some kind of crazy legs. All right. Here we go. Here's helping, right? I did save both of the tools. So we want to investigate the force field. At Kiwi's on 91%, and then we tool the second and third checks. Oh, please don't fail this. Okay. Alright, tool? Wow, look at all those tokens. Jesus. What is what is producing all those bonuses? I think that that is the most tokens I've ever seen on a check, for sure. Wow. Okay, only 66 here. And if we fail this, everybody starts the battle at half health. If we succeed, though... Oh, think about the... think about the payout. Oh, excellent, excellent, excellent. Alright, now the Living Crystal can generate with a couple of different bonuses. One of them is going to be worth a huge amount. And we'll, let's hope we get that one. We did. Combined Speech Defense, 214. So, yeah, just a casual 856 there. Alright. So this is already the best score I've ever had. If we don't win, this will still be my highest scoring game ever. You know, I still don't agree about this foxy dino descriptor. Okay, so it looks like we didn't we didn't get the friendly dinosaurs or the devious ones. I guess it must just be based on what your um, dominant attitude is up to this point. So we got purple aggressive raptors that I've never seen before. Uh, they are not weak to they're weak to physical attacks. I guess is what we're supposed to be getting here. But uh, you know, a weakness to a speech type increases the damage of that speech type by 50% while this is uh, this is a much smaller reduction I think so these raptors are actually harder than the others but I assume that they will be attacking us in melee so we can probably do some uh, we can probably do some bottlenecking now remember the only way to survive these fights is to just bomb rush the queen there's no there's no hope of controlling the other dinosaurs. She brings in... Each time she calls for reinforcements, she brings in two additional raptors. And each one of the raptors takes, on average, three attacks to bring down. So, there's absolutely no hope of fighting the crowd off. The only thing we can do is kill a couple of them on the way over to her, and then hard focus her down. I don't personally uh, like that all that much. I kind of think that this is the worst fight in the game, but uh, it's also <sighs> this is like the least the least interesting and fun fight in the game because there's only one strategy and it's it's a little high variance. But also this is the highest payout fight in the game because of the living crystal. So, like, if you want to score well, you always have to fight the Raptor Queen, I guess. Sort of sucks a lot. And the Raptors are forming a physical blockade to prevent us from getting to the Queen. Okay. That's just poor sportsmanship. So... What do I do here? How do I do this? These guys are super, super fast. They have four moves. We are going to get attacked seven times next turn if we don't kill any of these raptors, and we can't hit the queen. Okay, we actually do not have the option of hitting the queen. Well, I guess we cheer. <laughs> and then she does loudmouth. And then Anna might, Anna might be able to take this guy down. And this way makes this guy not able to attack. So we cancel out one attack. This cancels out another. Alright, these guys are not not as bad as the Devious Raptors, certainly. Right? 
And they, I mean, they don't do that much damage. I guess it's not... The effect they have on Anna is maybe not the best barometer, because Anna has quite a lot of armor, if I'm not mistaken. We're getting a lot of lucky dodges, which is nice. Uh, we are going to get mauled to death, though. So Anna's experimentation will be max power next turn. I think we want to start in on the Raptor Queen here. I want to try to stun as many of them as possible. I think the the best stun I'm going to be able to get is moving. Anna and Kiwi need to switch spots, and Anna needs to stun this way. So, Kiwi can run... It's a little awkward. I wish I could just click on Anna and switch their spots. Okay, I can do this, though. I can move Kiwi out. She still has some move left. Have Anna stand here. Do that. And have Kiwi move back to this location. I want to hit the Raptor Queen, but I have a chance to take one of these guys down in one. I should do it. Alright, so we're going to take three attacks this coming turn. Oh, we switched moods. I think we're not supposed to do that against... Yeah, shit. Now if we go back to aggressive, we're going to be in a really bad position. Oh, and they do have a two-space range attack when they're in devious mode. Okay, yeah, that's really bad. And they're focusing the hell out of Hildegard. Alright. So we gotta we got to end this like yesterday. All right, we don't have to end it aggressive. It's not that big a deal. We just have to win. So right now what we're doing is running. <laughs> How big is the area on... Okay, if I try to hit with experimentation, it will only hit... The... So I guess she's not doing experimentation. Hildegard moves to here. Kiwi moves to here which will let her get flank and shank off if I want to. I'm not sure whether I do or not. Oh, wow. Actually, Hildegard is just a total beast. Jesus, what a monster. That was well over 200 damage. I guess we win. <laughs> Alright, Anna throws out a physical attack, and then Kiwi physical attacks for the win, which will actually give us the aggressive win. Yeah. This will flop us over into aggressive mode, plus the points for aggressive less hitting the boss, and yeah. Alright, that wasn't so bad. 25 extra renown. I mean, plus the extra renown from all the extra tokens. It's going to be quite a bit. Strength is superior. With her last ounce of strength, she flees the scene at top speed. Too bad she's so fast. Okay, so we get a Brachiosaurus skeleton. Uh, we take five discovery. That's not actually that much renown. Five discovery tokens is gonna be like between 150 and 200 renown, I guess. I shouldn't shouldn't poo poo that. That's actually significant. All right. Well, that is the I guess the first time I've ever played the game well. <laughs> twenty more casual, twenty more study tokens from the Sea Sapphire. This thing has been so good for us. Another 12 campaign tokens. Yeah, so that was sort of a mediocre perk stacking run. I think I actually got pretty lucky on a number of occasions, but my decision making was not so good, and I definitely booted some opportunities there due to not having played the head well enough, or in a couple of occasions just clicking uh, poorly, not, not clicking on the thing I should have clicked on. That's not great. Ah, uh, this is a lot of renown, though. Considering we went in here with, like, 6k, this is, yeah, this is gonna be a heck of a score. Well, if you are a person who is not routinely scoring, you know, a million points here, hopefully you've learned something the same way I have learned something about... Jesus, how many study tokens did we get? 
Hold on a second. That's 174 plus, what, like, probably close to 20 discoveries? Exactly 20. Okay, yeah. Hopefully you learned something. I certainly learned something. Come back next time. We're going to be uh, probably, yeah, north of 10k. That, that is, like, more than 50% better than my previous high score. All right. And then Pinkerton's like whatever, and then Rival is whatever. I don't, I don't need to listen to you. Anna's mad, but that's okay. She's always mad. That's her secret. All right, yeah. Come back next time. We're gonna be uh, trying some more, more cool stuff. Trying to get another nice high score. This time, I think gold focused with a crew led by Dolores is my plan. Uh, I'm not sure exactly where that goes, aside from led by Dolores, but we'll figure it out. Yeah, so uh, come back and we'll see you then.